Hello, and in this video it's going to be a hardware video. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done one. And to be honest, it'll be the first time, you know, isolation and all that, four walls stuff. So this is all about a charity stream that happened on the 14th and 15th of March. One of my one of the patrons that I contribute to, uh, Shallon, decided to do a, I think it was a 16 hour stream, developing a program so he could sell it in aid of charity. And the program uh, also was going to, um, well, I mean, it didn't exist basically when he started it start the stream program did not exist um, he'd written a, an editor so we, people could create levels and I created about seven I think eight seven um, and he started I think was three o'clock in the afternoon on the Saturday and his goal was to raise thousand dollars during the stream and then to try and make as much money from selling the game once he'd done it. Well, the stream went ahead and I, I was there watching and the it's, it's fascinating watching someone build a game from nothing and at the end of it had something. I mean, it wasn't complete when he completed the stream because um, you know, 16 hours, after 12 hours, even my brain would be going to porridge. But he, he soldiered on through, and by the end of the stream, by the end of the 16 hours, and it was also his birthday as well, so he was drinking tequilas, I think, something, after midnight. Um, he had managed to raise... 1200 and something dollars by the end of the stream and of course I was one of the donators but what he did was he his top 10 donators got um, Matt would be given the game for free which was a nice thing but um, the, the, the beauty of what he was doing he was going to put it on a cartridge with his two other games that he's created as well. And as well as that, he gave the option of you could have eight other games of your choice put on there as long as there weren't you know, paid for games. So I'm there and I think it had just gone midnight, just it just turned his, uh, his uh, birthday. And then I thought, you know what? This is good. This is a good cause. Why not? So I, I put a donation down, and with that donation, I ended up getting one of these, and it's a Luma cartridge with the game that's called Luma. Now he didn't finish the game in the stream. He finished it, I think, the following week. So he did another stream where he was doing it, and then another stream where he's building the menu system for the cart. And here it is. So what I thought I'd do is show you what I picked. So I'm going to put it in the machine over there in the C64. And we're going to show you what I picked and the game itself. And I think it's brilliant. 16 hours, well, 24, 24 hours, probably a bit longer to make a game. Now he's selling this on itch.io or something. I'll put a link in the description. You can buy it, buy this game. It's a donation to Extra Life, I think it is, where it's for kids playing games. And the last time I heard, he he'd raised about eighteen hundred dollars or something, which is great. But it's still going, so we could raise some more. So let's get this on the machine and see what I picked. I can't wait. See you in a minute. Well, here we are. On the machine. 
plugged the cartridge in, switched her on. And what a lovely thing it is as well. So these are the three games when the logo gets out of the way. These are the three games that Shalom had made. And this is the game that he created in the 16 hour stream. Plus a little bit more time. And because I was in one of the, in the top 10 donators, I got this cartridge and these are my um, um, uh, nominated games. That's it, the word nominated. My nominated games. So I got Bruce Lee, Elite, Ghostbusters, Grid Runner, Hunchback, Manic Miner, Raid Over Moscow. So, I'm not going to show you these. Yeah, I might do at the end, depending on how much time I've wasted. But this is the important one. This game. So here we go. Here we go. So this is the game that was created in just over 24 hours, 16 hour live stream and a couple of other streams. And it's brilliant. So here's the concept of the game. Get rid of them. There are the instructions, we don't need them. So this is a light refract reflection puzzle game. So we've got walls that can't be moved. These walls cannot be moved. This is a wall that can't be moved, but the laser can go in the middle of it. These are walls that can't be moved, but the laser can go vertically in it. These are mirrors that can be moved. So we've got uh, forward facing and rear facing. This is a battery that powers the light laser diodes. And this is a laser diode. And as you can see, it's got a, it's got a color and it's red and that color needs to be projected into the corresponding color detector. Now I think the detectors can't move but the lights and the batteries can be moved. So in this particular instance you press the button and move it. There you go. So as you can see the battery went next to the light and powered it which means the laser then reflected into the... So let's do the next one. Right so this is another one and as you can see on the right hand side underneath shifts it tells you how many moves it can be done in and I'm telling you now I've done the wrong two moves before so grab the battery move it over and then grab it and move it <sighs> level two get it wrong Um. You didn't see that. Right, let's try that again. Move the battery over. Move the battery over. There we go. There we go. And that's the whole concept of the game. So here's another training level. This time we've got two lasers and two detectors. So we've got to make sure that that laser there goes into this detector here. So let's power the laser, so battery against the laser, battery against the laser, move the mirror down, yep there's one, and move that mirror up, oh and we did it in the four moves. So that's the concept of, ooh another one, only two, you can do this in two. Um, okay. Let's. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yep, 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 yep. Move that down. Move that across. There we go. There we go. <laughs> right. So, let's stop this and. I'm going to show you where I'm up to. So I'm going to type in the code. There we go. Now, this apparently can be done in nine moves. 
I don't believe so because it's 10 for me. I need that extra move. And I'm damned if I can find it. So this is what I get up to at the moment. So out, down, across. Then out, down, across. And then down. And I need... I need one more move. I need one more move. What is wrong? Gotta take it from the back. I'm sure I've got to take it from the back. Let's bring that out. Oops. Let's bring that out. Um bring that out. Bring that down. Bring that across. Still doesn't work, and I've got three moves. Ooh, hang on. One. Two. Oh, you are no! <laughs> Do you know how many days I've been trying to solve this one? More than I can get. <laughs> mm. Okay. Oh dear. All right. Oh, here's another one. Oh, this looks really, really difficult. Thirty moves. Really? Wow. So as you can see from here, we have. Red laser, red detector. Red laser, red detector. Green laser, green lit detector. And blue laser, blue detector. Yeah. This is going to be tricky. Because effectively you need that lace to go that way down. Really. Okay, let's bring that down. That across, that across, that up there. That up there. That right. Like. Right, so the red and green are fighting now. Oh dear. Can we move the green laser? That would be pointing the wrong way. Oh. <sighs> Back to get. Think logically, John. Think logically. This laser's got to be turned round and back up. But also this laser's got this laser's gotta go back and round and back up as well.
Yeah, I didn't want to do that. getting stuck. Oh, I've really thrown. Ooh. And I haven't even got my levels yet. I don't know where my levels are. Yeah, this is level 24. I've been on level 23 for over a week now. And there's 128 levels in this. shifts to get this right. Oh, it's just not on. How, how are we going to do that? So as you can see, you're probably all shouting at me, John do that, John do that, and I can't see it. Well, come on, it's just taken six days to do the last one. That has got to be changed, I'm sure. We've got to swap it with one of these. So if I leave that out. Move that across. Oh, that's so close. Let's move that down. Right, so that's one. Um, so we need a we need a reflector here. We need one of them fellas. There we go. So how are we going to now? So it's the gr so it's the green and red now. <laughs> oh, one more. Now I can't remember what I've done. So we moved. Yeah, 
Leave that out. Oh, the green stuff. Not done, and the red's not done. That has got to move. That's got to come down. That's got to go across. Right, there's red and blue. It's just these two now. Well, that just can't be right because how will we flat the green? This is so annoying. Is kind of wrong.
had enough of that. I'll carry on. But that is the game that was done for the charity stream. So let's play one of the classic games. And I think we should do Hunchback because that's the one that we're going to be doing as a community project is to make that one better. So here we go. Let's have a bit of fun with this. Hey, hey, keyboard, we're ready. See how far I can get. See if I can do this in one. Still got it. <laughs> Still got it. Right then, let's see. Just jumping over the holes. Oh, I thought I'd missed that one. Thought I'd missed that one. There's four bells. One more. One more. I think this is the fireball one. Yeah. Five bells. Get in there. Extra life. Oh, no. Not extra life. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, shoot up the bum. Here we go. Shoot up the bum. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Oh, too close to the edge. <sighs> How stupid was that thing? <sighs> okay, here we go. Oh, come on. Can do it in one jump. Here we go. Oh, he sat on the spike. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! No! Oh, what did it? Did it? Did it? Oh, you are joking! He was down. And that's the game we're going to try and recreate. Right, one more. See what this movie is. I've not seen this game at all. I've heard about it being talked about. Okay. What? Just the one life? <laughs> I'm going to keep my finger on the fire button. 
Oh, really? I didn't even get started. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Oh, really? Okay, okay. Oh, we're doing alright now. We're doing alright now. Come on. Plowing a furrow. Come on. Keep that finger on the button. Oh, that was close. Oh. Alright. You can't go into the ground. Now they tell me. Right, stay away from not. Oh, this is hard. Is there an easy mode? <laughs> Brilliant. What hard? Really hard. Come on, die, die, kill, 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 kill. kill. There we go. Now we're now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Oh, look at the bullets. Is that for a reason? Doing all right. Doing all right. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Pumpkins. <gasps> New high score. What? 14. Oh, 3,080. Three, oh, 378. Well, there you go. That's another one of his games. Well, let's see what the dot one's like. The saga begins. 16k competition. All right. Dot Cosmos reaches his destination on the hunt for the alien time travel device. Ah, okay. I am going to need a key if I want to get through this door. Okay. So let's go this way then. Ah. Collect, collect colour keys to open the doors. Okay, so that's a red key. Okay. Well, that was easy. Judging by the decor, I have travelled back to 1982 and I need to find the power source and get out of here. In this time travel, Dark World jump a little further, but with less control. That's got the green key. Re oh, that was bad. Oh, right, okay. Or is it because I'm eating something? Oh, yeah. Oh, it jumps forward.
we transfer it that way. Wow. Oh, this is hard. And this is, I can see this taking too much of my time up. Got it. All right, do I have to go down there? The device is used to alter timelines by pressing the fire button. It is recharged at these consoles. Okay. day for that but that is the cartridge and or I should say Luma the puzzling puzzle game that was created for a charity in like I say 24 hours and you can buy it on uh, Shalom's website now I'll put a link in there so you can buy it for yourself if you want to try and get yourself frustrated like I do and with that I will see you in a mo well there you have it one charity game on a cartridge that took just less than 24 hours to build and I still can't play it I'm surprised <laughs> I'm really annoyed myself because it took me six days to get past level 23 and now I'm on level 24 <laughs> how long is it going to get me to get past that but this game is brilliant frustrating addictive but brilliant and I would suggest that for, I think it's two dollars he's put it up there for, for two dollars, have a go. And if you're feeling generous, it's all for a good cause, pay a little bit more. So I'm going to try and get past level 24 and eventually find where one of my levels are. And I'll see you in the next video. So if you like what I do, hit that like button. If you don't like what I do, then fine, hit the dislike button. Always leave me a comment because I try and answer them all. And if you want to support this channel in any way, shape or form, then please do. But I have a patron system, so if you feel that you could donate a small amount every month, please become a patron of mine. You get early access to videos, you get exclusive access to my forum now and um, channel update videos that no one else sees uh, so with that i will say see you next time take care i'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel without you guys i wouldn't be able to do what i'm doing right now thank you very much